So I'm going to talk about the steering on this car, the tie rods mainly and the um, Pitman arm and all that fun stuff. So on our car, if you look down here, this is pretty basic, but you'll notice that the steering shaft itself comes down and goes through a heim in the bottom. See, it goes through this heim. This heim is attached to the welded part of the steering shaft right here that goes to the front hoop. That heim is threaded in there. There is a nut and a washer right here. So you can adjust this heim in and out for alignment that you want. This is pretty basic of where it ends up being. This is pretty much where they always are set at. There's also a pin right here, one of those snap pins. This one's especially giving me trouble trying to get it out of here. But if I pull that out, this kingpin, or sorry, this castle nut, not kingpin, this castle nut comes right off and you'll notice that the steering shaft, steering column, whatever you want to call it, is tapered and it has a threaded end on it. All it does is go right through that heim, put the castle nut on it, and you put the safety pin through the hole in the end of the threaded shaft. And that's really all there is to that. Pretty basic, pretty simple, functions really well. If we can lock the pin, we'll be golden. Locked there. And this doesn't have to be tightened down like super tight. Doesn't need to be crazy tight, so it's perfectly fine. Just get the heim lined up and then tighten this nut down. If you have any issues with that, you can loosen this, I'll show you. If you ever have any issues where you think it might be binding, you can easily loosen that nut and adjust this heim however you think it needs to move to get it to line up with the steering column. So I think that's pretty good. I can tighten this back down. Good to go. Good to do it. So next we have the Pittman arm up here. The Pittman arm, and this is the Pittman arm bolt that goes through both of the heims on the tie rods. Obviously, we have two tie rods here. We have a short one, which is a seven inch tie rod on a Tygo Wraith or a Tygo Stealth. And we have an 11 and a quarter inch tie rod that's the same on the Wraith or the Stealth as well. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this apart uh, a few of the pieces just so you can kind of see how we have the setup on this. So I'll start here in the middle. I'll remove the snap pin again. So on the Pitman arm, it has the tie rods connected in here. You want to make sure, and this is very important, that if you're assembling or reassembling or forgot how it goes together, the seven inch or left side tie rod has to go on top. The 11 and a quarter inch tie rod has to go on bottom. The way that we assemble these is very important because we want free motion. We want that not, we don't want the, the steering to be tight. That should be free and easy to turn. And we'll talk about the other ends of the tie rods here in a second, but let's disassemble this um, Pitman arm and Pitman arm bolt so you can see how we prefer to assemble these. You're gonna see on the bottom, there's obviously a nut on that bolt, but there's also a washer. A thin washer is on the bottom of that bolt right underneath the lock nut. As I pull this Pitman arm bolt out, you're gonna notice that there is a spacer here, a spacer between these two heims, and a spacer on top of this heim as well. Then you're going to notice that on top of this, the bolt also, the bolt head also has a washer underneath of it, it. All of these washers working together create a smooth motion when turning the car. So I'm gonna pull these, pull all this out. It's all gonna fall apart probably. Take all that out. You'll see the washer that I have on that bolt right there. And remember, when we go to reassemble this, 
It's going to be fun. We're going to do it. We like to use the bottom hole, by the way, in the pitman arm. Uh, there's two holes there. We use the bottom one. Okay, so to assemble, we have the thin washer. Okay, that's about the same size as the head of the bolt. That has to go through first, but we also have to have one of our spacers. The first thing it goes through on the other side of that pitman arm, and remember we're using, if you look at this, you can see that there's two holes here. We're using the bottom hole. We don't use the top hole. I'm gonna put the washer on. And then remember the seven inch or the left side tie rod goes on first, like that. Then we have to grab another spacer. This is the one that goes between the two tie rods. I'm gonna get the bolt pushed through there a little bit like that. Then we're going to grab the other tie rod if I can get a hold of it here. Grab the other tie rod. Get them in there like that. Now I have to somehow get the last washer between that tie rod and the pitman arm bracket, just like that. So now we have it reassembled other than the nut and last washer that goes on. And so what I'm going to do is slide that washer up on there. Get the nut in my hand and position correctly. Oh, dropped it. Now, all we want to do is get our two 916 inch wrenches. And once again, we need to create free motion. And so we only want to tighten this down typically enough to be able to get our snap pin in the end of the bolt to prevent the nut from actually backing off um, in that unfortunate case. So we just want to make sure that we get it. It's nice and free. Want to make sure that we can see the hole and that it's clear. I'm going to stick the snap pin, the safety pin, through there. We're going to latch it. Latch the safety pin. Good to go. Pitman arm is assembled, and it moves freely. So tie rod ends and how they hook to the spindle arm themselves. If we look at this from here, I'm gonna take this apart and you can see that what we like to do is we like to run the bolt from the bottom up. We like the access to the snap pins to be super easy, easy to get a hold of, easy to see them, easy to check all of this when you run them this direction. Uh, and it doesn't really matter if you prefer the other direction, that's fine. It doesn't change performance at all. Uh, what you wanna look at is where the the bolt is on the spindle arm, which I'll show you here in just a second as I take this off of here. And you'll also wanna pay attention to the washers. Um, you know, everybody has a different take on where the washer should go and shouldn't go. I'll show you how we do ours. Uh, it creates free movement uh, and it works really well uh, on all the cars that we have on the track. So we take the nut off, obviously, and the, the snap pin. You'll notice that there's no washer there. We do not put a washer between the lock nut uh, and the heim itself. The lock nut sits just fine on there and allows that heim to move freely. As you pull the heim off, you'll notice that there is a washer here. We wanna set a washer right down on top of the spindle arm, which is between the spindle arm and the heim that we just removed is where it would be. So if I pull that down, that is the only washer that we use, is this thin washer between the heim and the spindle arm itself. Now you'll notice that the spindle arm has different holes in it, okay? We use the center hole on both sides, on the left side and the right side. You can play with using a forward hole or a reverse hole. This is going to control, you can talk about, you know, act, Ackerman, and you can talk about uh, steering input and how fast it steers and how slow it steers. 
We use the middle holes. Most of the people that drive our cars are kids and we want them to have a balanced feel. This is the best place we've found for people that age that race our cars. So what we do, very easy to reassemble, put the bolt through from the bottom up, put the washer on, grab the tie rod that has the heim on it, drop it on, and then put the lock nut on. Now, one other thing while I'm here, I wanna talk about show really quick and easy, is the heim on the tie rod itself, the heim on the tie rod itself, we want this all to be free, nice, easy to move. And when you're first building a car, or if you receive a car uh, that we've shipped to you, what you're gonna notice is most likely the tie rods and the heims are going to be moved all the way in. You wanna start with the heims all the way in on both ends so that when you go to scale the car and do the toe of the car, you have plenty of room to get that toe where it needs to go. If you're overextended on one side, you're probably gonna have an issue. So if you look at this, one thing that needs to happen here as well is you're gonna have a jam nut. The jam nut is what keeps the heim in place once you decide on the setting for toe. And in a later video, we'll go over toe and we'll go over scaling and all of that. But the way the jam nut works is when you say, okay, this is where I want my heim, you take this jam nut, you turn it down until you hit the, hit the washer and you tighten it. That does not allow the heim to move in or out and it controls where it's set at, which gives you your toe. This is still free. Nothing wrong with that, but that sets it. The very, another important thing I want to talk about is the washer. This washer that goes on here is very important. This washer will keep, one, it keeps everything moving free, but two, it keeps this nut from binding to the tie rod. I can't tell you how many times that we've tried to take jam nuts off and people didn't have a washer here and we can't get the jam nut off because it has pretty much welded itself to the tie rod. So you wanna make sure you have those washers in there. Everything's clean and free. So I'm gonna move this back to the, standard setting. This car is yet to be shipped out, so it should be uh, all the way in here. Jam nut, put it as far in as we can get it. We don't need to snug it up. And then we can go ahead and put this guy back together. So we get the bolt from the bottom, center hole on the spindle arm. Take our washer, drop it on the bolt. Take our heim, drop it on. Take our lock nut, put it on. One other thing you'll notice is that we install our heims on top of the spindle arm. You're gonna notice that also on the left side of the cart. If you look at the left side of the cart, the heim over here is also installed on top of the spindle arm. This installation is exactly the same as the right side. The only difference is this tie rod here is only seven inches. This side is 11 and a quarter inches. Remember the left side tie rod goes on top of the right side tie rod heim in the pitman arm. So all I have left to do is to tighten down. And once again, another component we do not want to over tighten. We want to tighten down the nut on top of the heim. I felt it hit right there. I can snug it just a little bit. Make sure everything's turning free. You don't want to create a bind right here. Everything should move free with your fingers. Any of these radius rods should move free with your fingers, okay? All we have left to do is put in the snap pin over here. And we're done.